Hi, so we're going to move forward, keep talking into Psalm 1 this week. And of course, I'm going to do a little blip, a little promo for the face-to-face -face conference with Covenant Love. And that is en route or en route. And just exciting. I cannot wait for what the Lord has for us on that weekend. It's a Friday night and Saturday. Um, it usually goes till about 3 o'clock or so on Saturday. But the guest speaker is Lisa Bevere. <laughs> so... Just It's a free conference, ftfwc.com, and there are breakout sessions on that Saturday, so it's just going to be a good time. I'm just encouraging you in that, and I'm going to say it at least once a week just to, um, to keep it out there and to be sure that we all know what's going on. Now, for some word, and again, the Lord is just so good, and I love when we get confirming word from different voices. And one thing that I believe is true is that as the Lord is going to do a thing, he begins to speak that word more and more and more. It's like he's planting the seed and um, or developing the seed. He's calling it forth. And so particularly a, a particular word that I keep hearing from the Lord. And so I would hear it, you know, every few days. Yeah, and then maybe every other day. And now I'm hearing that word every single day. And so I know that when I hear a word every day, when I, he begins to bring that to my attention, it's that he's about to do it. The more frequently I hear it, the more frequently I hear it, almost like birth pains, you know, labor, contractions that come more frequently, come more frequently, come more frequently. <gasps> And then the baby's here. And so I, I believe that about the word of the Lord and some things that he is speaking to the body of Christ. Um, have you noticed that? Do you have it in your life that you keep hearing a word from the Lord or that he gave you a word and then you'll hear bits and pieces of that word from other voices? Um, that's confirming his word for you. Oh, and just refreshing of the Holy Spirit to draw it back to our attention. So, so good. So good. And um, we're going to look in today, still in Psalm 1 2. And his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord. And we talked about in depth delight and desire last week. And then we got into the law of the Lord. What is the law of the Lord? And you know, of course, we don't live under Old Testament, the actual law of the Lord, like the Levitical law or the Ten Commandments. But you know, the spoken word of God or the written word of God is his law. Um, there is the law of giving and receiving. There is the law of of um, obedience. There is, well, you know, when we obey, um, our obedience is a response. And so if we do this, then this happens. Those, there are laws. Giving and receiving is a law. Um, loving others is a law. There, there are so many different things. Um, I guess you could say concepts in the New Testament that are actual spiritual laws. Um, and so there is a law that, I mean, it is a spiritual law that if we do the commands of God, if we obey his teachings, if we obey his direction, well, then we will have the hand in favor of God on our lives. If we live in obedience to his word, then we will live a blessed life. I mean, that's what this is talking about. Blessed is the one who. And then he tells us what not to do and what to do. So there are laws. The very word of God is a law, just like the law of gravity. Um, it's, it's, it's truth. It is truth above all else. You know, if we throw something or we fall or jump off a building or a porch, we're going to hit the ground. <laughs> In the same way, God is going to come through on his word because once it's spoken, he's not going to change it. And so his delight and desire are in the law of the Lord and on his law. So we looked at last week and we looked at yesterday. Um, his law is the precepts, instructions, and teachings of God. And then it says he habitually meditates, ponders, studies by day and by night. One thing that I wrote in our little Psalm 1 book, which I will pull snippets from this as well since we're going through Psalm 1. But it says, Psalm 1-2 says, He meditates on the teachings of God by day and by night. So what, what is Holy Spirit really telling us to do here? What is it that He's giving us instruction telling us to do? Because my first response is, well, I can't literally read the Bible all day long. Well, interestingly enough, that's not what He's telling us to do. 
We can ponder, study, think about, and relate every minute of our day to the Word of God. And that's what he's saying. We're already at the five-minute mark. We're going to end with that today. But when we ponder, when we meditate on the Word of God, it's not literally that we're reading the Bible all day long, but that we are thinking about His Word, that we're relating His Word to our day, through our activities in our day, what's going on, events and situations and circumstances that may come our way, that we impose or think about the Word of God on our circumstances. So I hope that leaves you with some encouragement today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.